Hey, what's going on? It's Mike here with another episode of Smart Simple Digital. Hope all of you out there are doing well and staying safe. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna stick with my recent theme and I'm gonna share some more apps and online services that may come in handy for those of you who are working from home right now. Uh, in my last video, I discussed video conferencing tools. If you missed that, go back and take a look at it. You can find it over on my YouTube channel. However, today, I'm gonna to talk all about file sharing and storage apps. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with this particular category of collaboration tools, uh, file sharing and storage apps give you a virtual space where you can store and organize your files in the cloud. Uh, and when I say files, I mean everything from Word documents to photos, PDFs, uh, videos, audio files, etc. And uh, these apps are also a really good alternative for sharing and sending digital files, specifically large files as well. Now for many of us, the two most common ways that we share digital files with one another is through email and text. However, both of those ways have their limitations. You know, number one, email and text are not very good for sharing large files. You know, for example, many email services cap the size of file attachments at right between 20 to 25 megabytes. That's really only enough space to be able to share uh, Word documents or just several photos. If you try to share large video files or albums of photos, you can forget about it. Also, when it comes to text, you know, trying to share large files with someone through a text message can be a nightmare. You know, either it will take forever for that message to go through to the other person, or sometimes if the files are really large, the messages, the text messages may not go through at all. You'll just get an error message. Another issue with email and text is that they're not really efficient solutions for storing and organizing digital files. They weren't really meant for that. And it can be a real pain if you ever have to go back and search through your inbox or you know, scroll through text conversations just to find particular files that you need when you need them. However, file sharing and storage apps solve a lot of those issues and they provide some added benefits as well, which we'll get into. So four of the most commonly used file sharing and storage apps are Dropbox, Google Drive, iCloud Drive, and OneDrive. You know, there are a lot of other options out there, but these are just four that I've used personally and know to be pretty effective at what they do. Uh, but regardless of which option you decide to go with, uh, you know, they all operate pretty much the same. They all operate around the same basic concept and share a lot of similar features as well. For instance, many of them are free to use and they allow you to store all sorts of digital files. Uh, everything from Word documents to PDFs, photos, videos, audio files, etc. Pretty much anything that you could store on your computer or your smartphone, you can store on one of these apps. Number two, these apps will allow you to access your stored files from pretty much anywhere via a mobile device or a computer. And this is something that can really come in handy for those times where you may be away from your, your normal work computer or away from home, um, but you still have a need to access you know, some of your important files. And you know what, as long as you have a computer handy or your app with the, or your phone uh, with the particular app installed, you can just log in and access the files that you need. You can do that from anywhere. Number three, these apps will allow you to share files with other people. And this is something that really comes in handy for those times where you may have a file that you need to share, but it's too large to send through email or text. So instead, you can just upload that file or those files to your virtual storage space, and then you'll be able to generate a link that you can then send to all the people who need to access that file. Number four, these apps all generally give you the ability to expand the amount of storage space that you have. So if you find yourself in a, in a position where you're getting low on storage space and you need a little bit more, uh, you can upgrade to get more space. Number five, and perhaps most important, file sharing and storage apps can really give you some added peace of mind, especially if you've been using them to store backup copies of all your important digital files. Uh, you know, this is really good so that if you do find yourself in the unfortunate position where you have damaged your computer or lost your mobile device, that you can kind of rest assured knowing that you can recover all of your important files from whatever file sharing or storage app you've decided to use. So I mentioned four specific apps earlier and I just wanna go down and point out some differences between them. So first up is Dropbox. Now with their free plan, you can get up to two gigabytes of storage space and that's pretty decent actually, You know, especially if you're just planning to store a lot of text-based documents like Word documents and PDFs. 
However, once you start throwing in things like photos and videos, that could eat up that space really fast. However, uh, Dropbox does give you the option to get more storage space if you need it by upgrading to one of their premium plans. So next up is iCloud Drive, and this is an Apple product. And if you're already a Mac user or an iPhone iOS user, then believe it or not, you already have access to this. You just need to use the Files app to get started. Um, with their free plan, you start off with five gigabytes of storage space. And this is another one where if you need additional space, you can always upgrade to one of the premium options. Next up is OneDrive. This is a Microsoft product. And with their free plan, uh, you start off with five gigabytes of storage space. And again, this is another one where if you need more storage space where your five gigabytes is starting to run out, then you can upgrade to one of the premium options, one of the premium plans that they have available. And last but not least is Google Drive. This is a Google product, if you couldn't tell by the name. Um, and believe it or not, if you are already a, a Google account holder, for instance, if you are a Gmail user, then you already have access to Google Drive. Now with their free version, you get up to 15 gigabytes of storage space, which is a lot. Um, however, that space is shared between your email and Google Photos. So just something to keep in mind. Um, I'll include a link for that one below. In addition to all the apps that I mentioned, I'll make sure that I include links down below so you guys can check them out. So that is it. You know, I hope that you found this information to be helpful. If you did, please like this video, please share it as well. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And always, you know, I, I challenge you to uh, to give these apps a try, give them a look. If you find yourself in a situation, whether it's today or in the days ahead, where you need to share files with someone, whether it's uh, your teammates, whether it's a client, um, but you can't share them through email or text, and it's too large, uh, you know, instead just just remember these apps that I just shared with you and give them a try. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.